Hey, welcome back to Liam Locke Gaming. I'm Liam Locke, and I want to introduce the next set of videos here. This is technically part three of my arrival into Paro International Airport uh, to kind of show you some of the difficulty I had with this approach and also to demonstrate that the fact that I landed that approach uh, on the runway in part two was just, in fact, blind dumb luck. Um, there are a number of things working against us in all, all pretty much due to pilot air. So after attempting these approaches, I actually had to go back and learn some things about the Airbus and how to fly the Airbus under the uh, fly-by-wire laws or the Airbus flight control laws that are applied to the aircraft. Um, there are actually four flight control laws, uh, normal, alternate, direct, and mechanical, but the one that I'm primarily focused on, which is the one that we typically fly under all the time, is normal law. And in normal law, there's a thing called alpha protection. Uh, now, in aerodynamics, the Greek alpha symbol represents angle of attack. So what is alpha protection? Well, alpha protection just represents the speed corresponding to the angle of attack where the alpha protect activates in order to uh, safeguard the pilot from stalling the aircraft. Uh, at, at alpha protection, uh, we get the alerts about speed, speed. We're, we're starting to exceed the flight envelope of the aircraft. We need more speed in order to perform uh, the climb maneuver or the level off maneuver that we're attempting uh, in flight. There's, uh, there's also an alpha maximum. An alpha maximum represents the speed corresponding to the, the maximum angle of attack that we can fly in the aircraft. But between alpha protect and alpha maximum, there's this uh, alpha floor. Now, this is the one thing that I wasn't seeing on the flight management enunciator, where we were getting the little A floor notification. And at alpha floor, um, the auto thrust will actually in automatically engage toga to prevent us from reaching alpha maximum because we don't want to stall. And if we, if we if we hit such a sharp angle of attack or alpha maximum, at that point, the direction of the aircraft and the wind flowing over the wings, uh, we start to lose lift. Uh, and basically, you'll stall and fall out of the sky. All right, well, enough of the technical gobbledygook. Let's uh, take a look at these approaches. Uh, these approaches where I do a lot of the same things, experience a lot of the same challenges that just add to the... Uh, complication and challenge of an already difficult approach into Paro International Airport and uh, let's see the outcome and it took all of these various failures and approaches for me to realize I had to go back and read some more about flying the Airbus and learn the things that uh, I just briefly talked about so I hope you enjoy these thanks for watching so out here we're getting ready to make a left right between these mountain ranges to start our descent into Paro. So we're gonna go ahead and do our gear down as well. Just about at our decision altitude. Remember, our decision altitude is 10,630. We want to be stable on approach. Looks like everything is set for us just fine. You can see we're coming into this valleyway here. And we're going to take control of the aircraft here momentarily, and we are going to manually fly it in for a landing. wrap around here and then go to the right around this mountain peak and descend towards Paro. Minimum 
So we're at our minimum and we are going to proceed. Everything looks good. We're going to take control of the aircraft at this point. And I want to start to slow the aircraft down just a little bit more for our approach. We're going to dial back to 138. go to full flaps. And we're going to turn here in this valley and try and get lined up with the runway. got this last little clip that we need to climb over and you can hear RAS calling out our our altitude difference uh, the aircraft from the ground so we're flying in pretty close but we get got to get past this last little peak but we can really push our descent down to the runway uh, we are still descending so we're gonna cross pretty speed. close here speed 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 we're okay speed here. speed 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 Speed, 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 speed. We're pretty good. Speed, speed, one thousand. Speed, speed. Approaching three, three. Five hundred. to get lined up here a little bit. So our descent angle was a little too steep there. Okay. Five four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. Seventy. Sixty. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Long landing. Long landing. Okay, so we've reached our initial approach fix. No, scratch that. Okay, so we've just passed our final approach fix. We are at our 145 knot speed. Coming around a corner in between these two mountains uh, in this little valley here. And we are shortly going to take control of the aircraft and fly our descent down to Pero International Airport. Uh, we're already configured for landing. Landing gear is down. We're running at flaps three right now. As soon as we come around this bend, uh, we'll go to full flaps and take control of the air aircraft and uh, fly the remainder uh, down to the runway. Everything is looking pretty stable. I'm going to go ahead and start slowing the aircraft down for our approach. Our approach speed is 134. We're not going to go down quite that slow. We want to make sure that we don't over descend. 100 above. If we descend too fast and we have to pull the nose up, we'll lose speed and that'll minimum. put us in a dangerous stall condition. We just hit minimum. Uh, we are stable on approach. Everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and take control of the aircraft at this point. Go to a full flaps configuration and follow our flight plan 
as we descend towards the runway. So we're going to go out a little bit here and then come around uh, following what is programmed onto the flight management computer. Make sure we keep a descent up here. You can see the airport off to the right if you look out the far right window. We're going to swing out just a little wide here. Try and keep up a controlled descent. thousand five hundred. Try and get ourselves lined up here with the runway. We've got to clear this one last little cliff here. Let Why do we pick up so much speed? Why are we accelerating? Damn it, this is really irritating. Hundred above, minimum. We were manually flying this in. Uh, that wind was a little bit rough coming in over top of the mountains, and I was getting a whole ton of lift. 2,500. And I'm trying to get the speed down here without uh, losing too much altitude. I need to go to full flaps. I'm trying to keep my speed under control here a little bit and get down to our approach speed. Uh, we are controlling the thrust and everything here. Make sure I got my speed brakes here set up. Come on. I need to get this in place. I need to get the speed brake off. Arm the speed brake. Watching our speed here a little bit. We need to clear this one little ridge. Get the plane aligned up a little bit better. One thousand five hundred. One thousand three three. Five hundred three hundred. 200, 100, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, retard. We're way off there, way crazy. All right, well, that didn't go so well.
on flaps three. <clears throat> Gear down. Three green. This is now to ten thousand six hundred thirty. Keep flaps three for a minute. Hundred above. Decision altitude. Minimum. Auto throttle off. We now have the throttles and the aircraft. Two thousand five hundred. Runway's off to our right. 2,500. Flaps four. 2,500. Speed, 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 speed. Speed, speed. Want to clear this little hump here. One thousand. Approaching three, three. Five hundred, three hundred, two hundred, one hundred, seventy, sixty, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Retard, retard. Three thousand feet remaining. Reversers on, brakes are on, auto brakes. Two thousand feet remaining. We're in good shape. We had a little bit of a hop there at the end. You know what? After all these landings, I'm going to take remaining. that every day from now on. Every day I'm going to do that. I just could not get the auto thrust to get me over that little hump without losing speed.
All right, approaching our final approach fix. 145 knots, almost there. thousand six hundred thirty feet is our decision altitude <clears throat> flaps four full flaps Hundred above. Minimum. Okay, autopilot off. Two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred. Airport's going to be over here to our right. Gear down. Two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred. Speed, 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 speed. Oh, why is it a toggle lock? No, 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 no. One thousand. One thousand. One thousand. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. Caution, taxiway. Caution, taxiway. One hundred. Long landing. 70, Long landing. Sixty. Fifty. Three thousand forty, feet remaining. 30, Two thousand retard. feet remaining. One thousand feet. Five hundred feet. Re and I can see the valleyway here up ahead. I'm gonna go to flaps three. We're going to drop the landing gear as well. Now, it's probably too soon to be dropping the landing gear. Right, we're going to be ready. So 
So to keep a 3% glide slope going down at 145 knots, I need to be dropping in around 800 feet per minute. take control of the aircraft here very shortly. And we're trying this again for the umpteenth time. Uh, this runway definitely has been kicking my butt. So as we come around here, the airport will be down here to our right. Our decision height is 10,630, which we're getting ready to hit. 100 above. Minimum. Autopilot off. Two thousand five hundred. Runways down here ahead. gap here I'm going to try and shoot for. Speed. 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 Speed, speed, speed. 1,000, 1,000. Speed, 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 speed. 500, speed, 400, speed, 300. Speed. 400. 500, 500. <whistles> 500, 400, 300, 400. Speed, 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 speed. 200. Speed, speed. Speed, speed, 100, speed, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, retard. Ha 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 ha. Oh, so much fun. Crossing our final approach fix. 
getting ready to make the turn here. Gonna go gear down. And that's gonna create some additional drag on the aircraft as well. we get off of our flight plan. We're going to come about here a little bit. This is the valley turn in right here. Hundred above. Watch our height. Full flaps. Keep that 145 speed. Minimum. We've got control of the aircraft. Minimum. Two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred. back our speed to our approach speed. We gotta get over this hump. 2,500. One thousand. One thousand. One thousand. Approaching three, three. Five hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. 70, 60, 50, 40, 30. Seventy, sixty, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Retard, retard, retard. Ridiculous. Not stable at all. Through the cloud layer, so now we can see pretty well. Fourteen nautical miles away from the runway, we can see the little valley way here between these two mountain peaks that we're going to be flying between. I'm going to go to flaps level three. Now comes the hard part. Everything appears to be set for landing. Uh, we're 
going to go ahead and deploy the landing gear. That's pretty scary. Coming around the bend. Decision altitude is going to hit here very soon. We are at flaps level three. The gear is down. Gears down, three green, 145. 100 above. Minimum. Autopilot off. We have the aircraft now. We're gonna drop the speed down just a little hair more. And we're gonna fly this approach in. We need to watch our descent rate. The airport's over here to our left. Watch our descent. I don't want to descend at too fast a rate. need to get over this hump without losing too much speed. i line up with the runway here. So far looking pretty good. Speed, 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 speed. So we want to go a little bit speed, more here. Speed, 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 speed. One thousand. Approaching three, three, five hundred, four hundred. <laughs> oh, my God. This is some low cloud cover here in Erring the Valley. The Flight requirements for landing at Paro require clear conditions. I'm not sure that this would qualify because the clouds certainly make it uh, hard to uh, see the valleyways we're trying to navigate. Let me go ahead and slow down here a little bit more. We're going to be on top of our initial approach fix here in no time. Flaps two. Yeah, this is pretty much a blind approach here. Wow, I don't think this would be a pretty hairy descent. You'd really have to trust your uh, navigation waypoints and get our speed down to 145, which is where we need to be. Uh, we should have enough range. We're going to go to flaps three to put some more drag.
we can see the valleyway coming up here. Uh, we'll be navigating right around this mountain ridge in between these two mountains here down to Pero. One forty-five. We're at the correct speed for our initial approach fix. We do have our minimum programmed in at ten thousand six hundred thirty feet. Uh, we'll need to make sure that we're stable at that point. Looks like we are going to be stable, no issues. I'm going to go ahead and extend the landing gear for a little more drag. Uh, maybe we'll wait here just a moment. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the gear down now. We are only about 12, 10 nautical miles away from the, uh, the airport. Looking good so far. We're going to take control of the aircraft here momentarily. Approaching our 100 above minimum altitude. We have turned off the ground proximity warning system because we are off the minimum. Close. So autopilot is off. We're now going to continue to watch our descent here. Two thousand five hundred. Try and keep things under control as we come around this uh, corner here for the runway. We've got this last little cliff point that we need to navigate, and we don't want to descend too much, but we do want to keep heading down. We don't want to pull the nose up too much. Otherwise, uh, I have done this already. We will slow the plane down too much and possibly get to stall speed. And I'd like to avoid those warnings if possible. So trying to control the descent. I'm watching the uh, flight director as well. Try and get lined up here with the runway. Those up here just a little. Coming around a little more. Speed, speed, speed. Got to watch speed. our speed here. Speed, 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 speed. One thousand. Speed, 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 speed. Speed, speed, speed. 500, 400, 300, 200, 100. Approaching, 3, 3, 